Hey everybody, Wally here, back with another video. Um, this is just some more stuff that I got in the last um, uh, rummage sales that I went to last week. So I'm still digging through all that. Still got several more boxes, but I'll show you what I haven't taken out to my booth yet as I'm pricing it. So um, let's get started. We got a couple um, little game pens. There's um, uh, poker and or no blackjack and slots. Then I got a few little Hello Kitty items. I got a water bottle, uh, an empty watch box, and then um, I think this is like a little McDonald's uh, locket necklace, and then this pen. Um, those were um, in a box. It was like four for a quarter or something like that. So I got all those for a quarter. And then I paid a quarter for this Kevin Harvick. That was, um, if you noticed in one of my last videos, I had a bunch of Kevin Harvick stuff, and I still have more that I'm going through. I got these two Napco um, figurines um, for $2 for the set. And then there was this gray crackle glass vase. Um, I paid 50 cents for that at a thrift store. And I'll probably put 15 bucks on that. And let's see. We got Mickey Mouse mini snow globes. Um, I don't know how long they've been making these. But uh, last year or the year before, I found like a... Um, a case case and a half at a sale that was at a uh, an old abandoned fire station that were various years and um, I put five bucks a piece on them and I sell a ton of them and I'm pretty much out I only have maybe a couple of my boots right now so and I find them quite a bit too so um, see this was a quarter a little laser pointer I think it's a laser pointer yeah it's a laser pointer okay and let's see you got this red um, Power Ranger guy, it's like a little squirt gun, he squeezes his leg, it's a keychain. Um, that was a quarter, or a quarter, dime or a quarter. Anyway, I'll put two, three bucks in, in my booth. And let's see, I got a Lone Star restaurant, or Lone Star, Lone Tree Steakhouse. I don't know, it must be local. I don't know where that's at, but it's uh, 57024, 57's around here for our zip codes. Uh, let's see, I paid a dime for that. I put like three bucks on it. Cabbage Batch Kids lunchbox with the thermos. Um, I paid a dollar for those, and I actually break them apart. I'll sell them separate at around eight bucks a piece. Got a, a stuffed SpongeBob. I paid a quarter for that. I'll put five, six bucks on that. Got Ernie the Pig, GTA Feeds. Um, it's a bank. I got that in a lot. I paid a hundred dollars for. I want to say it was four, three or four big. Rubbermaid tubs from a buddy of mine that was just kind of downsizing and wanted to get rid of a bunch of stuff a bunch of action figures and I don't know just all kinds of miscellaneous things that was one of the cool things in there so um, Let's see what else I got a NCAA Diet Coke can this was actually part of a set that I bought as like a little commemorative box set um, But then I don't know something happened. It got all fizzy and then the other can just exploded And I think they actually made these out of a cheaper aluminum at least it feels a lot cheaper than what they normally make a can out of I mean, it just totally blew it completely out and that was the only thing I was able to save was this There was like some pins in there too, but the coke had gotten into the others and just ate away the pens So anyway, I'll put three bucks on that in my booth. I have a Korean Pepsi bottle I paid 75 cents for that and let's see, I got a, just a miscellaneous bottle opener. That was a dime. Um, I have a Brad Radke 2006 Minnesota Twins Hormel uh, bobblehead. This was a stadium giveaway in 2006. I find these all the time. I usually sell them for around $20 to $25. Uh, I paid a dollar for that. And then let's see, I've got these nine coin folders and albums. Um, I paid a dollar for the box, and then it was funny, I found like a couple coins in, not, nothing silver or anything, but a couple um, more modern dimes and, and a nickel in the bottom, so it actually cost me less than a dollar. But I'll put two bucks a piece on all these fol folders, and then the uh, albums, I'll sell between 15 and $20 a piece in my booth. And I got, this was a quarter. Uh, it's Tapes Liquors in Mitchell, South Dakota, which I doubt exists anymore, but uh, that's probably around 60 miles from me is Mitchell. And let's see, I got this commemorative, I guess you'd say, uh, $70 bill of Mark McGuire. These were big when he was hitting all the home runs back in 1998. But I still find novelty things like this, and I'll pick them up to their cheap. 
and that was like a quarter so i'll put like five bucks in my booth and see if it sells okay then i got these from a buddy of mine that i like to buy he gets some oddball stuff really super cheap and he'll wholesale them to me and he got these um starving liberty copper dollars they're 0.999 copper and i paid um i want to say it was a dollar and a quarter a piece for them and i'll put six to eight bucks i have a little write-up sheet that i have to kind of i'll put them in my little display case in my booth and i have a few of them here a little bag of them um i have a little write-up that i'll put kind of explaining what they are to people and because zombie stuff's really big in our area because they have this big walk that they do every year and all these people dress up as zombies so i do really good selling the zombie stuff all right then we've got some pyrex i got just a clear pyrex uh paid quarter for that and i gave a quarter for this um i'm not sure what this one is i want to say eight to ten bucks i could be wrong i can't remember what that was and then this is like two three bucks but i paid a quarter for it let's see i got a couple different pyrex um let's see i got this little thing i'd never seen this one before but i don't I don't know a ton about Pyrex yet, but I haven't memorized the patterns, but I think this is Homestead Blue, I think. Anyway, um, I believe that's around 8 to 10 bucks. I paid a dollar for it, I think. All right, and this was a dollar for this one, and then two dollars for this one. Um, I believe this is Butterfly Gold pattern. And this one did have a lid, but I noticed when I got home that it had a massive gash in it, so I just, I just threw it away. But, um, see, this was a dollar, this was two dollars, and these were just caked. You couldn't even tell what they were, Harvey. It was, it was so brown and nasty from grease. But I just took them home and put them in the sink and then just doused them with oven cleaner. Made sure there was an open window. <laughs> just about killed me, choking me. But anyway, let it sit there for a few hours and then just rinsed them off, and that's what they look like now. So, um, I want to say between 10 and 12 bucks a piece, something like that. Then let's see, I have this Toastmaster toaster. See, it's model B700, I believe it says. Yeah, B700. If this was nicer, I could probably get 40, 50 bucks for it online, but but it's it's not the greatest condition. It's got some scuffs and everything, so I'll put 10, 15 bucks on it in my booth. Then I have um, a set of three Pyrex nesting bowls or uh, mixing bowls, whatever you want to call them. Um, that set I paid three dollars for, and I'm thinking I can get twenty to thirty bucks just for these. So, and let's see, I got this one. This is an older one, but I don't think it's really worth much. And plus, it's kind of scuffed up and a little faded. It's been used. Um, I want to say flamingo pink. It's the pattern. And I paid a uh, fifty cents, I believe, for that one. So, and that is pretty much it right now. I'm still digging through a bunch of garage sale stuff. Um, so keep watching and we'll keep making some more videos. Thanks guys.